A trial of an experimental HIV vaccine in Uganda, Tanzania and South Africa has been halted. This is after preliminary data suggested it would not be effective in preventing infection. The news of the latest setback to efforts to develop an effective vaccine against a virus that has claimed approximately 40 million lives worldwide. To tell us more, we're joined now by the Medical Research Council President, Glenda Gray, who joins us from Livingston in Zambia. Um, uh, 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 Glenda, thank you so much for your time this evening. Um, what did you glean from this data that has led to uh, this um, halting um, of this trial? Thanks. So, good evening. Uh, this is a um, this trial was a very important trial because it combined different different vaccines together with pre-exposure prophylaxis using antiretrovirals in an attempt to to reduce the risk of HIV acquisition. However, um, unfortunately, in in more than a thousand participants, uh, we found that this approach did not work, which tells us that our current approach, our current strategy, um, is not novel enough. Mm -hmm. HIV is a very hard uh, vex, uh, a very hard virus to, to try and understand, and um, this setback uh, means that we have to go back to the drawing board and look for more novel ways of approaching an HIV vaccine design. We've heard that term novel um, in the, uh, a medical term for quite some time because of our experience now with COVID. When you say you need to go back to the drawing board and look for a no more novel way to explore a, a potential vaccine, what do you mean? What are, what are you guys going to be looking for? Well, first of all, we're not, we're not inducing enough um, neutralizing antibodies. So with COVID-19, we knew one of the ways to protect was to induce neutralizing antibodies. And so our current approaches haven't allowed us to induce potent neutralizing antibodies. 